someone. The Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Is this true? Indeed. If you're looking for armor, you should speak with Tercia Vedusia. Her knowledge of horse armor is really impressive. Really? Safe travels. Goodbye. How do you do? Hi there. Good evening. Seems a bit shady to me. He does a good Once again, we return to the story of Caius. Spell sword. Dunmer. Eternal champion. Finest courier in Tamriel. Most loyal servant of the Emperor. Former head of the Blades in Vardenfell. Hortator of the Great Houses. Nerevarine. I don't think I have any jobs. I don't think it'll give me any jobs. Um, now there was an interesting tooltip that came up while I was loading in. That uh, said, Prophyric Hemophilia is the vampire's disease. So, while I did drink a cure disease potion, let's just make sure that I'm not. So I am a little curious. They were talking about horse, horse armor, so let's just take a quick look here in the... Uh... Quests. Yeah, so I don't have a horse. So I suppose in the absence of anything else for me to work with, I should head to Lake Arius Caverns. I do eventually want to join the Mages Guild, so I'm going to have to make some trips to um, Leowin, Bravel. Uh, I also haven't been to Anvil yet, but it feels a little, I don't know, it feels a bit wrong to just go off when there's other things close by I can do. Rider sells and repairs weapons and armor. Can I help you? I'm Tertia Vedusia. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. That seems a fair... Thank you for your business. Good day. How goes it? Should probably figure out where I'm going first. A pity so I've got nothing to eat. Pleasure to speak with you. Can I interest you in some of my wares?
You've made a good bit of gold. Thank you for your business. Farewell. Well met. Um, before I go too much further, I also thought I should maybe take a look and see if there's any of the uh, intermediate volumes that I've been missing. Books. I sell books. Go ahead. Look. Buy some. Can you tell me more about Jane Null? Imperials hate Dark Elves. Dark Elves hate Imperials. Imperials hate that a no-name Lalu trader got made into a count. Andel Indoris doesn't help his case by having a prat for a son and a wife that dies in very suspicious circumstances. Our Dark Elves left Morrowind to get away from the church and state, and they don't like it when Imperials get all holy and patriotic with them. Of course, local Dark Elves tend to be money-grubbing, alcoholic lowbrows with little education or culture. Since I read a lot and speak well and don't drink brandy from milk pails, I guess I qualify as an Imperial. But on the whole, I like Shaden Hall's Dark Elves better than I like the Imperials. So, go figure. Knowledge is power. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. All right, so multiple volumes of A Dance in Fire, Mystery of Talara. Obviously, things like advances and lock picking seem like they would be uh, useful to me, but I don't want to go too far down the down the path. Um, I feel like there was something else that I wanted to do here. Oh, right, the temple. I think out of all of the cities, this has been my favorite to just walk around in. Muscles on you. Overjoyed to hear that Garrus has replaced Ulrich as the captain of the guard. I'm sure he'll do a fine job. Though I'm happy that Ulrich has been removed from his post, I'm still saddened that there'll be no true retribution for Aldus. When I was younger and living in Vardenfell, my parents instilled in me the code of an eye for an eye. It's hard not to see that through. I'm sorry, I shouldn't berate what you've done for Chaden Hall. Everyone appreciates what you did, as do I. Farewell, Sergio. Hi there. Guy's huge. How are you today? Rejoice through faith, your afflictions are banished. It's you. Hi. Otenbar, Fighters Guild Guardian. Maybe you saw me in the arena a couple years ago. I was a contender. Oh, that's very impressive. I got impressive. out while I still had the original set of legs, arms, and eyes. Fighters Guild is a perfect place for me now. Tell me more about Chait and all. I worked the arena in the Imperial City for a while. Got up to Gladiator, then took a powder. A guy could get hurt, you know. So brave. Take care. Spare a coin for the infant. Hot can eat for a day with a single coin. 
tell me more about the Grey Fox. He's a fairy tale. The Imperial Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Grey Fox who controls all the thieves in Cyrodiil. Of course, it's all just made up to give them an excuse to keep us down. Blessings of a new There. Blessings of the Nine. I'm Otessa the Healer. By the grace of Mara, I offer advanced training in the restoration arts. Do you now? For advanced training, seek out Oletta. <clears throat> she serves Akatosh at his temple in Kavach. She can teach you all you need to know. Didn't. Ah, never mind. Tell me more about trade now. I'm happy to be of service in any way I can, in any place I can. There are so many who need help, and so few to offer it. Goodbye. Hang on, there's another. I hope I can help. Tell me more about training. Speak with Oletta at the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. She will be able to train you further. Goodbye. Yes. Pretty empty here. Be that um, I was thinking of. It might be that I was thinking of um, the uh, guard quest. Hey, hey! You're off duty now. Another day, another second. Probably take a second here just in case I run into other crashes. So much for being <laughs> stealthy. Really stand to improve my aim.
And I really like the scenery. That's not necessarily going to get me where I need to go, so. Ah. Follow the clues hidden in the four volumes written by Mankar Cameron to a gravestone in Green Emperor Way. At noon, the map of Cyrodiil appeared on the gravestone with the location of the Mythic Dodd Shrine marked on it. I need to find my way into the shrine and locate the Amulet of Kings. This may not be it. Nope, nope, it's it. <laughs> I've arrived at Lake Arius Caverns. The secret Mythic Dawn Shrine must be somewhere inside. Master still has need for willing hands. You may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the master for your initiation into the service of Lord Dagon. Do not tarry. The time of preparation is almost over. The time of cleansing is near. I am Harrow, Warden of the Shrine of Dagon. By following the path of Dawn, hidden in the writings of the Master, Mankar Cameron, you have earned a place among the Chosen. You have arrived at an opportune time. You may have the honor to be initiated into the Order by the Master himself. As a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, everything you need will be provided for you from the Master's bounty. Give me your possessions and put on this initiate's robe. Very good. Follow me. I will take you to the shrine.
greet the new day, brother. Greet the new day, brother. Praise be. When I walk the earth again, the faithful among you shall receive your reward, to be set above all other mortals forever. As for the rest, the weak shall be winnowed, the timid shall be cast down, the mighty shall tremble at my feet and pray for pardon. So saith Lord Dagon, praise be. Your reward, brothers and sisters. The time of cleansing draws nigh. I go now to paradise. I shall return with Lord Dagon at the coming of the dawn. Greet the new day. Lanko Cameron escaped to his realm of paradise with the Amulet of Kings and closed the magical portal behind him, but the Mysterium Xarxes itself is here in the shrine. I must get the Mysterium Xarxes. It is my only hope of finding a way to recover the amulet now. We have a new brother who wishes to bind himself to the service of Lord Dagon. Advance, initiate. You have come to dedicate yourself to Lord Dagon's service. This pact must be sealed with red drink, the blood of Lord Dagon's enemies. Take up the dagger and offer Lord Dagon the sacrificial red drink as pledge of your own life's blood, which shall be his in the end. No, I will not kill for you. Then Lord Dagon shall drink your blood instead. You are weak like the gods you face. Be glad you will not live to see the day. Die, unbeliever! Only the truth will. <laughs> Wait, what happened to my... Where's my, uh... There we go.
I guess the leather boots will offer me a little bit more. Jesus. I actually want to try one slightly different approach to this, which is to free the slave after, the prisoner after. I don't normally like doing things like that, but it occurred to me that, um... Dawn is breaking. Greet the new day. Welcome, brother. The hour is late. But the master still has need for willing hands. You may pass into the shrine. Harrow will take you to the master for your initiation into the service of Lord Dagon. Do not tarry. The time of preparation is almost over. The time of cleansing is near. I am Harrow. Warden of the Shrine of Dagon. By following the path of Dawn, hidden in the writings of the Master, Mankar Cameron, you have earned a place among the Chosen. You have arrived at an opportune time. You may have the honor to be initiated into the Order by the Master himself. As a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn, everything you need will be provided for you from the Master's bounty. Give me your possessions and put on this initiate's robe. And if I refuse? What? I must warn you. No one leaves this place who does not bind himself to the service of Lord Dagon. But I am sure you will reconsider. You have proven yourself worthy and dedicated to have come this far. I ask you one last time. Give me your possessions. The Master requires it of all initiates. Oh, well, if you put it that way. Very good. Follow me. I will take you to the shrine. Harrow, the warden of the shrine, accepted me as an initiate into the Mythic Dawn cult. I was required to give him all of my possessions and dress in an initiate's robe. He said that the master, Manker Cameron himself, is here at the shrine and might perform my initiation himself. I should follow Harrow to see if he leads me to Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. That or I could just try and take him out during the ritual. <laughs> save. Shh, 
The master is speaking. Praise be. I'm curious who the actor for uh, Magger Cameron is. Praise be. Hear now the words of Lord Dagon. When I walk the earth again, the faithful among you shall receive your reward to be set above all other mortals forever. As for the rest, the weak shall be winnowed. The timid shall be cast down. The mighty shall tremble at my feet and pray for pardon. So saith the Lord Dagon. Praise, Praise be. be. Your reward, brothers and sisters. The time of cleansing draws nigh. I go now to paradise. I shall return with Lord Dagon at the coming of the dawn. Anchor Cameron escaped to his realm of paradise with the Amulet of Kings and closed the magical portal behind him. It, but the Mysterium Xarxes itself is here in the shrine. I must get the Mysterium Xarxes if it is my only hope of finding a way to recover the amulet now. We have a new brother who wishes to buy... <laughs> hey! Keep your thieving paws to yourself! <laughs> Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! <laughs> I'm sorry. I should do this seriously now. Praise be. The faithful among you shall receive your reward to be set above all other mortals forever. <coughs> As for the rest, the weak shall be winnowed, the timid shall be cast down, the mighty shall tremble at my feet and pray for pardon. So saith the Lord Dagon, praise, praise be. Your reward, brothers and sisters. The time of cleansing draws nigh. I go now to paradise. I shall return with Lord Dagon at the coming of the dawn. Anchor Cameron escaped to the realm of paradise with the Amulet of Kings and closed his magical portal behind him. But the Mysterium Xarxes itself is here in the shrine. I must get the Mysterium Xarxes. It's my only hope of finding a way to recover the amulet now. We have a new brother who wishes to bind himself to the service of Lord Dagon. Advance, initiate. You have come to dedicate yourself to Lord Dagon's service. This pact must be sealed with red drink, the blood of Lord Dagon's enemies. Take up the dagger and offer Lord Dagon the sacrificial red drink as pledge of your own life's blood, which shall be his in the end. I won't kill for you. Then Lord Dagon shall drink your blood instead. He's almost here. You are weak. So if I can find a way of taking out Harrow, I can get my uh
should have done the gates of Atherius sooner. surprise yeah. there. <laughs> you have come. Oh boy. This better not be my potions he's drinking.
I have the Mysterium Xarxes, the Mythic Dawn's Book of Secrets. Now I must escape this place and return to Cloud Ruler Temple. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so I went through all that extra effort of reloading just to have him taken out by the... I suppose the lesson is never reset for anything. There might have been something I could crawl on. Oh, come on! mind. Head north for an hour or so, you'll see a group of dead trees. Head northeast until you come to the water. Follow the shore upstream. His house is close by. Watch out for bears. Potion of Cure Disease, grind Clan of Fear Claws and Mandrake Root into a fine powder using mortar and pestle. It will remain somewhat gritty, it can be mixed with almost any liquid, but ordinary clear water is safest.
not fear death. It's hard to keep track of which ones I've uh, <laughs> already taken out. Smart move. Probably can't um, repair. Yeah. Hiding with the shadow, there are few professions that require the practitioner to be more self-reliant than that of a thief. A thief is by nature a loner. He trusts no one and is trusted by few. He cannot go to a master and become an apprentice. He has no guild to collect and codify how to ply his craft. He does his crimes alone and in the dark of night. He must hide by day to avoid capture by the authorities. 
The only no de known deity recognized by Thebes is Nocturnal. Not truly a goddess, this Daedric lord is nonetheless a potent figure. She is the mistress of shadows, holding sway over secrets and stealth. She does not ask for worshippers, nor does she necessarily give blessings to those that do recognize her. In fact, there are no known temples to her in Cyrodiil, although there are rumors of a forgotten shrine. In other words, she is perfectly suited to the criminal mind of the thief. By and large, thieves are a godless lot. They believe only in their own skills and cunning. However, since the existence and influence of the gods and Daedric lords is undeniable, they have an uneasy relationship with a nocturnal. Though some thieves truly worship her, they choose to offer their respect and reverence without fealty. These criminals recognize that they should offend the mistress that should they offend the mistress of shadows, it might go poorly for them. However, true worship and fealty does not have any known benefit. The classic blessing between thieves is Shadow Hide You. This is an oblique reference to Nocturnal. However, it can also be interpreted to be a non-theistic statement of actual shadows hiding the thief. Thieves tend to dress in black clothes or dark clothing. While this is pra a practical thing for their criminal endeavors, it is unnecessary during the daylight hours. Yet many thieves still don these shadowy colors in silent recognition of Nocturnal. The most shocking link between the nebulous culture of thieves and Nocturnal is the tale of the Grey Fox. He is the mythical king of thieves. The legend states that he stole the hood off Nocturnal's cloak. Obviously, this is just a story invented centuries ago to bolster their feelings of self-worth. However, it is indicative of the continued link between the Daedric Lord and the criminals of the Empire. Make sure that I got a peek at everything. Stepping softly, hiding in the shadows, you do everything in your power to remain undetected. You've become a journeyman of sneaking. The weight of your boots no longer affects your ability to remain undetected. Sacred Witness, A True History of the Night Mother by Enric uh, Milres. I've met countesses and courtesans, empresses and witches, ladies of war and slatterns of peace, but I have never met a woman like the Night Mother, and I never will again. I'm a writer, a poet of some small renown. If I told you my name, you may have heard of me, but very likely not. For decades until very recently, I had adopted the city of Sentinel on the coast of Hammerfell as my home, and kept the company of other artists, painters, tapestrists, and writers. No one I knew would have known an assassin by sight, least of all the queen of them, the blood flower, the lady death, the night mother. Not that I had heard of her. Some years ago, I had the good fortune of meeting Perlaine Assey, a respected scholar who had come to Hammerfell to do research for a book about the Order of Diagna. His essay, The Brothers of Darkness, together with Nier Gromeg's Fire and Darkness, The Brotherhoods of Death, are considered to be the canon tomes on the subject of Tamriel's Orders of Assassins. By luck, Gorming himself was also in Sentinel, and I was privileged to sit with the two in the dark skooma den in the must musty slums of the city, as we smoked and talked about the Dark Brotherhood, the Morag Tong, and the Night Mother. While not disputing the possibility that the Night Mother may be immortal or at the very least long-lived, Assi thought it most likely that several women, and perhaps some men throughout the ages, had assumed the honorary title. 
It was no more logical to say that there was only one Night Mother, he asserted, than to say that there was only one King of Sentinel. Gorming argued that there never was a Night Mother, at least no human one. The Night Mother was Mephala herself, whom the Brotherhood revered second only to Sithis. I don't suppose there's any way of knowing for certain, I said, in a note of diplomacy. Certainly there is, whispered Gormang with a grin. You could talk to that cloaked fellow in the corner. I had not noticed the man before, who sat by himself, eyes hidden by his cloak, seemingly as much a part of the dingy place as, rough stone, as the rough stone and the unswept floor. Turning back to Yanir, I asked him why the man would know about the Night Mother. He's Dark Brother, hissed Perlay Nassi. That's as plain as the moons. Don't even joke about speaking with him about her. We moved on to other arguments about the Morag Tong and the Brotherhood, but I never forgot that image of the lone man looking at nothing and everything in the corner of that dirty room, with fumes of skooma smoke floating around him like ghosts. When I saw him weeks later on the streets of Sentinel, I followed him. Yes, I followed him. The reader may reasonably ask why and how. I don't blame you for that. How was simply a question of knowing my city as well as I do. I'm not a thief, not particularly sure-footed and quiet, but I know the alleys and streets of Sentinel, Sentinel intimately from decades worth of ambling. I know which bridges creak, which buildings cast long irregular shadows, the intervals at which native birds begin their uh, ululations of the evening sun, songs. With relative ease, I kept pace with the Dark Brother and out of his sight and hearing. The answer to why is even simpler. I have the natural curiosity of the born writer. When I see a strange new animal, I must observe. It is the writer's curse. I trailed the cloak man deeper into the city, down an alleyway so narrow it was scarcely a crack between two tenements, past a crooked fence, and suddenly, miraculously, I was in a place I had never seen before. A little courtyard cemetery with a dozen old half-rotted wooden tombstones. None of the surrounding buildings had windows that faced it, so no one knew this miniature necropolis existed. No one, except the six men, men and one woman standing in it, and me. The woman saw me immediately and gestured for me to come closer. I couldn't have run. I could have run, but no, I couldn't have. I had pierced a mystery right in my adopted sentinel, and I could not leave it. She knew my name, and she said with a sweet little smile, I said it with a sweet little smile, the night mother was a little old lady with fluffy white hair, cheeks like wrinkled apples that still carried the flush of youth, friendly eyes, blue as Ili the Iliac Bay, she softly took my arm as we sat down amidst the graves and discussed murder. She was not always in Hammerfell, not always available for direct assignment, but it seemed she enjoyed actually talking to her clientele. I did not come here to hire the Brotherhood, I said respectfully. Then why are you here? The Night Mother asked, her eyes never leaving mine. I told her I wanted to know about her. I did not expect an answer to that, but she told me. I do not mind the stories you writers dream up about me, she chuckled. Some of them are very amusing, and some of them are good for business. I like the sexy dark woman lounging on the div uh, divan in Karlovac Tawaway's fiction particularly. The truth is that my history would not make a very dramatic tale. I was a thief long, long ago, back when the Thieves' Guild was only beginning. It's such a bother to sneak around a house when performing a burglary, and many of us found it most efficacious to strangle the occupant of the house, just for convenience. I suggested to the guild that segment of uh, to the guild that a segment of our order be dedicated to the arts and sciences of murder. It did not seem to me like a controversial idea to me. The night mother shrugged. We had specialists in cat burglary, pickpocketing, lockpicking, fencing, and all other essential parts of the job, but the guild thought that encouraging murder would be bad for business. Too much, too much. They argued. They might have been right. The old woman continued. But I discovered there is profit to be made just the same from sudden death. Not only can one rob the deceased, but if your victim has enemies, which rich people often do, you can be paid for it even more. I began to murder people differently when I discovered that. After I strangled them, I would put two stones in their eyes, one black and one white. Why? I asked. It was sort of a car calling card of mine. You're a writer. Don't you want your name on your books? I couldn't use my name, but I wanted potential clients to know me and my work. I don't do it anymore, no need to, but at the time, it was my signature. Word spread, and I soon had quite a successful business. And that became the Morag Tong, I asked. Oh dear me, no, the Night Mother smiled. The Morag Tong was around long before my time. I know I'm old, but I'm not that old. I merely hired some of their assassins, and they went, uh, when they went, began to fall apart after the murder of their last potentate. They did not want to be members of the Tong anymore, and since I was the only other murder syndicate of any note, they just joined on. I phrased my next question carefully. Will you kill me now that you've told me all this? She nodded sadly, letting out a grandmotherly sigh. You're such a nice, polite young man. I hate to end our acquaintanceship. I don't suppose you would agree to a concession or two in exchange for your life, would you? To my everlasting shame, I did agree. I said that I would say nothing about our meeting, which, as a reader can see, was a promise I eventually, years later, chose not to keep. Why have I endangered my life thus? 
because of the promises I did keep. I helped the Night Mother and the Dark Brotherhood in acts too despicable, too bloody for me to set to paper. My hand quivers as I think about the people I betrayed, beginning with that night. I tried to write my poetry, but ink seemed to turn to blood. Finally I fled, changing my name, going to a land where no one would know me. And I wrote this, the true history of the Night Mother, from the interview that she gave me on the night we met. It will be the last thing I ever write, this I know, and every word is true. Pray for me. Editor's note, though originally published anonymously, the identity of the author has never been in any serious doubt. Any layman familiar with the work of the poet Enric Milres will recognize the sacred witness's familiar cadence and style in such books as The Alakir. Shortly after publication, Milres was murdered and his killer was never found. He had been strangled in two stones, a black one and a white one, crushed into his eye sockets very brutally. I'm sure it was a coincidence. I don't know why I was sneaking when I had the light on. That was worth a try. Um...
Never did find the trigger for this, did I? I don't know if that counts as murder or not, but I don't feel bad about that. Although I think there's a reputation stat. Jokes told. All right, I think I'm going to head back to Chayden Hall just so I can sell. I've escaped with the Mysterium Xarxes, uh, now to deliver it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. So I'm going to go to Chayden Hall just to um, sell off some of my items. Of course, we get to admire the, uh... Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Get to admire the scenery on the way. also remember that note um, but I think I'll leave that for another time oh boy I think 
I'll leave the Oblivion Gate until I've um, stopped by uh, Jaden Hall to sell off everything. I think it'll also give me a chance to um, to follow that note. Probably gonna take a while, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's not the end of the world, I can. Avoid some of the digressions, I suppose. Did I find that? Uh, I don't see an Oblivion portal. I'll debate about whether or not I head over there. I guess I can rest in the Fighter's Guild. Oh, well, 
Yeah, I'm Bazur Grogars. I got protection from the Aram Gang. So don't mess with me, or they'll fillet you real good. You too. <laughs> I have a gang of people who will murder you on sight. Have a nice night. There's a charge in the air. Been casting some destruction spell? I have no idea what you're talking about. You have ascended to level 22. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck, but you've earned every ounce of your success. So we finally maxed intelligence. This is too good to pass up. Um, and let's boost our strength for the carrying capacity. Please continue. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? I appreciate your business. What can I do for you? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? So here I'm just going to get rid of the um the obvious duplicates. a good deal. Come back and see me again. Be seeing you. Good day. erased my notes from last time, but I should probably, uh, should probably do this again. Ah, you know what? Following it.
I feel like I'm leaving, uh, leaving some on the table. Good day. Can I interest you in some of my wares? This should do for a start. Debating about whether or not I actually want to keep the long sword of fire. I will for now, but. You drop. You've made a good bit of gold. That's more than I would use. You've got a great deal there. You've made... <laughs> Excuse me.
<laughs> An excellent bargain. That seems... Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. Bye. What do you want? Have a good day now. Oh, hang on. Yes? Uh, not Shelly, but... Have a good day now. was a house they suggested to go. There we go. You will not wish to miss the house of Jane Null's most notable citizen, uh, Wraith Lathandis. Blessings of the Nine. I'm Otessa the Healer. By the grace of Mara, I offer advanced training in the restoration arts. A pleasure to... Ganmadel sure does have a knack for training dogs. I've heard that she will train people as well, for a price. I'm not really that interested in what you have to say Take about care. what, who, and who can't train. <laughs> Please. I'm Tavella Lathandis. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. All right, maybe we're not heading back to... Tell me more. Yes, my husband is the Wraith Lathandus. Have you heard of him? No. Please tell me more. You haven't? That's strange. Wraith is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. Did he do your, uh, His specialty is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to show the attention to detail Wright uses when he paints. He said that he's missing. Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with the key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. I love him dearly and I'm so worried. Don't worry, I'll find him. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wright's studio. You may come and go as you please. If you need me, I'll be around the house. Do hurry, I miss my love so much. Do be careful. Door open with right studio key.
I've met a kindly Dunmer named Tivala Lethandis. It seems that her husband, Wraith, has gone missing. She seems extremely distraught, so perhaps I should talk to her to find out more information. Tivala told me that Wraith had been locked uh, had uh, had been locked in his studio to work on his latest painting. He usually comes out to eat and sleep, but he hasn't done so for more than a day. When she went to investigate, he was gone. The odd thing was that the study door was still locked. Tavella gave me a key to Wraith's study. If I intend to find him, that's where I should start. Wait, what? After touching the painting Wraith has been working on, I suddenly found myself standing in a strange forest. It looks familiar, like the great forest in the heart of Cyrodiil, but something is different about it. Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You're stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Tell me more. I was in my studio when a Bosma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. The what? I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush, if you like. Please do. Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Dibella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are woven from Dibella's own hair. That injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? Why not? The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do is have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. Of course, I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. I guess it all doesn't matter now. Unless you can defeat those painted trolls, we have no chance of getting the brush back. Stand aside. The trolls that the thief painted seemed to have turned on their creator and killed him. He didn't know the brush had its risks. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the body of the Bosma thief there. I will not be able to help you. I am not a warrior. But take these bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. Okay, that's funny. Anything else? I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. Be cautious, friend. This is a neat shader.
trying to find this boss Marie was talking about. So this clearly does not fit any description that the uh, the painter gave me. Located the thief's corp, I should now search it for the brush of true paint. I've retrieved the brush of true paint. I should go back and return it to Wrythe so together we can leave this strange landscape. I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. Follow me. Wright used the brush of true paint to paint a door back to his studio. I should now step through it and return back to Tamriel. We arrive back in Wright's house. The painting is now sealed and Wright is safe. I should speak with him when I have a moment. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Here, please take this apron as a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. Again, I thank you. All right, I'm a little curious about this apron. Yeah, no. <laughs> Actually, it's not all that... It's not that far off from... Uh... <laughs> from the cuirass, but 
No. I must speak to my husband first. Okay. <laughs> my love is home again. I'll never leave his side. A thousand thanks to you. My house. Again, thank you. Uh, I must speak with my husband first and then just walks out. I hope I can help. My love is home again. Safe travels, Sarah. Okay, now I think I can head back to... Well, I guess there's a couple of things that I can do. Um, the ultimate goal will be to head to... A pleasure to speak with you. Head to the Blades, but I actually have a couple of things that I might have want to do in between. Wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. That's a fair deal. Thank you for your... Farewell. You know, I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. Nobody thought that orc could be beat, but you showed them all. <laughs> what are you looking for? The stables. A smith, bookshop, and general trader are west of the river, near the West Gate. buy a horse, go inside and talk to Tovas. But I own the Black Waterside Stables. Are you shopping for a horse? I am. But before I do that, let's get a deal. The black. Tell me more. The black horses of Tradenhall are the finest in all of Cyrodiil. None are faster, and only the white horses of Anvil are stronger. Five thousand gold is a lot, but I'll do it. You won't regret it. Go out to the corral. Mivrina will have your new black horse saddled and ready for you. I own the Black Waterside Stables. I don't have any horses for sale right now. You bought our last black horse. You too. the wrong spot. Oh well. The Chaden Hall Black So actually with that in mind, where can I get the horse armor? It's not so hard. I don't know if this is better for the the view or not.
my ears. So the plan will be to clear up what I can in terms of my, um, sort of my tasks uh, on the way to, on the way back to the Blades. See if we can outrun it. I'm trying to avoid situations where I, um, I can lose the horse. Never mind.
Go ahead. Please. I'm here about the horse armor. Well, what can I interest you in? I'd like elven armor for my horse. Here you are, just like I promised. Thanks again for all the help. Yes? What can I interest you in? Here you are. Am I missing something? Virtuous blood. Speak. What is it, citizen? It looks like I'm going to be spending an evening in the Imperial City. What is it, citizen? Hi there. Hi there. Good Lord. for helping ah it's good to see you citizen oh yes i know who you are you've become something of a legend in these parts any rumors emperors have been assassinated before but this time i don't know it's different can't you feel it the shadow has fallen across all of tamriel How are you? Hello. It's so good to see you again. I've spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greythroat. They agree that the Order should live on. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them for you. In addition, We'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. So, if I can just be clear, you got me to kill a vampire and you're offering me your vampire killing services. Why not? Let us never speak of that abomination again. Fair enough. What about vampires in general? At least there are a few less vampires in the world now. Well done. But there are more of these creatures that still roam Cyrodiil. 
If any of our books can help you in the cause of destroying more, you're welcome to read them. Since you're an honorary member of the Order, if you bring back proof you've slain a vampire, we'd be glad to compensate you. Bring back the vampire dust from their remains. That should be proof enough. Return to me. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. How do you do? So I figured Coral should be on the way back. Ugh, not exactly. I'll take a roundabout way, so we'll head to Coral and then we'll go up to Bruma. And sorry, I know I had to do this uh, last. I've been trying to record these episodes earlier, but I do actually need to go to the bathroom, so I'll be back in just a second. All right, really sorry about that, but I've been trying to record a number of these back to back and uh, the beverages have caught up with me. So now seems as good a time as any to follow up on this Thieves Guild quest. citizen.
wish to join the Thieves Guild too? Oh, maybe we will soon be brothers in the shadow. <laughs> Only our man can say. Looking for the Thieves' Guild as well? Armand Kristoff will decide who is worthy and who is not. I've been preparing to join the Guild for years. If you're nice to me, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. Do I know you? Tell me about the Grey Fox. He is the King of Thieves in Cyrodiil. You could think of him as our Guildmaster, although he would deny that title. Ah, yes. Another scoundrel who served time in an Imperial jail. The Grey Fox is offering you a chance to join the Thieves' Guild. All right, how do I join? Everyone is here, let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves' Guild. The Thieves' Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Great Fox, and I am his doyen. Merely by finding you, we have passed the first test. What are you doing here? It's unusual for us to have three potential recruits at the same time. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. That's not fair. Methodel, you know the rules. However, for Amusei and the newcomer, let me stick them. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him, invite him into the game. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! Somewhere in the Imperial City, the beggars will help you locate it for a price. I can sell you lockpicks if you need them. One more thing. You cannot kill each other during this trial. We may be thieves, but we're not murderers. I spoke with Armand Christophe, who is a member of the Thieves' Guild. He offered me a chance to join the guild, but I have to compete against two other thieves, Methrodel and Amusi. Whichever one of us steals Amantis Electus' diary first will be inducted into the Thieves' Guild. It's somewhere in the Imperial City. He told me that the beggars might be able to tell me where to find him. Wasting time doing this, but I want to see exactly what this arrow is pointing to. I'm only asking for enough to feed me, kids. Can you tell me about a man just like us? I've heard of him. What's it worth to you? My eternal gratitude. Oh, you are most generous. <laughs> he lives in the temple district on the far east side. Uh, he's a, an early riser, uh, usually up by sunrise. Or anything for you. <laughs> he lives in the temple district on the far east side. Anything else you know about the Grey Fox? Don't pay attention to those rumors. <laughs> there is no such thing as a thieves' guild. The Grey Fox is just a thief. The watch hasn't caught yet. Blessings of our day upon I heard you know how to move in light armor. I didn't know the, Im <laughs> the Imperial Guard was employing uh, decoys. Hmm. 
Maybe he lives in the Elven Garden. Yes! Oh, great and mighty Grand Champion, is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Wait here. Here? Right here? What about, say, over there? No? Right here? All right, then. You're the Grand Champion. Whatever you say. Methadriel has beat me to Amantius Electus' diary. If I can't get it from her somehow, she will get, get into the guild and I'll be left out in the cold. It's too bad the competition rules won't let me kill her. However, our man didn't say anything about stealing from her. Adriel has escaped. If I want that diary, I'm going to have to track her down. I wonder if the beggars can help me. How did she... What? I'm only asking for enough to feed me kids. I'm looking for Methadriel. Yeah, I've heard of her. I'm going to need a few coins first, though. Here you are. She lives on the waterfront. She's a late sleeper, though. In bed from sunrise till noon. She hangs out in the bloated float after sunset. Anything else? Always glad to do a favor for you. She lives on the waterfront. Wait till afternoon to find her. She sleeps from sunrise till noon. Blessings of Anu upon ye.
Yes. Oh, great and mighty grand champion, is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Wait here. here? I've stolen Amantis Electus Diary from Ethandriel, now to get back to Armand at Derloth's Garden by midnight. Yes! Follow me. idea why she was the why she just kept it in her chest but here you go congratulations you have returned with the diary you have earned the right to join the thieves guild you now owe your loyalty to our guild master the gray fox he has three rules you must follow and those are first never steal from another member <coughs> of the guild second never kill anyone on the job not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Oh, I wanted Third, to read the diary. Don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. And about the Thieves Guild? What do you want to know? What if I do kill someone? Breaking any of the three rules means expulsion from the Thieves' Guild. If you commit murder, you must pay the blood price to rejoin the Guild. Blood price is for each person slain. You can pay any of the Guild Doyen. Tell me more about the Grey Fox. All Thieves' Guild members have sworn loyalty to him. If there is such a thing as a Guild Master, he's it. Who is Hieronymus Lex? He's a captain of the Imperial Watch. He is pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Grey Fox. Two years ago, I made a fool out of him when he tried to arrest me. Lex has never forgotten it. I don't know if I have any fines. You can pay your fines to the guards, serve your time, or pay me half, and I'll fix them all. I'll work out my problems on my own. It's your prison sentence, not mine. What about sources of information? The best source of information are the beggars. Their eyes and ears seem to be everywhere. <laughs> However, <laughs> be prepared to spend a little coin. They won't tell you anything for free. At least not anything true. What about jobs? Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely looking house. Case the joint to see when the owner is gone. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. However, you will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. So we all work alone? Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission. You know, guaranteed pay to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs available. Are there commission jobs available? You need more experience before I can use you on a commission job. Angar tells me that you haven't turned in much loot yet. When you've contributed enough to the guild coffers by selling stolen items to Angar, 
I might have something for you. Come back then. All right. Shut. So, I'll pretend that I read the uh, diary before handing that off. Uh, Mantius Electus Diary by Mantius Electus. Notes on experiment to hybridize drinkers and a mysterious recipe. I planted the seeds of the drinkers. Soon I shall know if my theories hold true. The first shoots have appeared. I must make sure to continue the precise schedule of nutrient solutions. Small drinker fronds are clearly visible. It is a critical time in their development. I'm almost out of rat blood. I'll have to catch some more of the filthy beggars. The young plants are juveniles now. I can see them waving as if uh, in a breeze, although the air in my cellar is still as death. I'm having a hard time catching any more cats. I may have to start using dogs. The damn drinker plants have a voracious appetite. One of them cut me today. I'll have to be more careful. My creations are refusing to feed. As an experiment, I offered a drop of my own blood, which one of them drank greedily. The other drinkers are beginning to wither. I collected a bucket of human blood from healers. I had to pay their, her an exorbitant amount to keep her tongue still. The drinkers are doing much better. Am I doing the right thing? The benefit of these plants to all of Cyrodiil is beyond doubt, but the price may be too high. In one of the most difficult decisions of my life, I have destroyed my notes on how to hybridize drinkers. I set the trays on the roof where the sun could strike them. An hour after sunrise, they were all dead. My attempt to create a hybrid of vampire and plant has failed. They were just too dangerous. Two parts grave dust, one part ash salts. Mixed with human blood, exposed to two hours of moonlight each night. All right, we'll get some rest. We will sell our um, we'll sell our items to the uh, to the merchants, and then we will head on our way. Good citizen, how can I be of service? Well met. I'd like a room, please. I do have a bed available for 20 gold a night. Would you like to rent it? I'll take it. Very good. 
It's up the stairs there. First door on your left. Sleep well. Take care. Hi there. I hope I can help. Start Knowledge with some is training. the key to success in any endeavor. Knowledge. There's much. Knowledge. Knowledge. What can I interest you in? No deal. That's a fair... Thank you for your patronage. Be seeing you. No! Well met. Good that you want. Let's get to knowledge. Knowledge. You've got a. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. Any friend? Only quality. Sell, sell still. Yeah, I think it's fair to say I'm not going to have much use for any of that, so we will head to Coral. Pleasure to speak with you. Good day. They have a 
glass shield here. You know, I saw your fight against the Great Prince. Nobody thought that orc could be beat, but you showed them all. <laughs> this is one of the... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Nope. This is one of the funny things about, um... About Oblivion is normally when you... So in most fantasy games, if you're in the capital, obviously, being able to, um... You know, that's normally where all the commerce is. That's normally where you get the highest value weapons. Um, but in here, it's sort of... It's the starting area. So the highest level... Highest level gear doesn't seem to be there. At least for Alchemy. Go on. What's the news What's the from news the other from parts of the Still don't see any elven horse armor. I've killed far worse than you. Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attack, now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. It can't be. Absolutely. I'm through talking to you. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. Bye. Maybe try reading up on it later. So it's a quick trip to Coral, and then we head back to, uh, to the Blades.
How are you? Quite well, thank you. If you're looking to buy a horse, go inside and talk to Bongard. I'm fine, thanks. Farewell. Again, we did just a, do a big trip, so I don't want to relive the experience. I can't stop to talk now. I've got to go meet my brother. <laughs> you just saw him. The Germain brothers have been reunited. After they speak, I should speak with Gibert, who seems to be the more level-headed of the two brothers. What? Who? Oh, damn, not this again. Wake up! Wake up! You're not dreaming, Reynold. It's me, your brother, Gilbert. That can't be. I don't have a brother. I mean, I, I never knew my real family. Who did you say you were again? I am your twin brother. When we were very small, our farm was attacked by ogres. My... our father and I escaped. We thought you and mother had both been killed, if we had only known. All I know is that traveling merchants found me in the wilderness by the body of my mother. I was raised by the monks of Wayne and Pryor. My brother, it's wonderful Get to see you again. We will have much to talk about in the next day. I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss, but if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Why not? Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than either of us. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? I will help you reclaim Weatherly, but I don't believe you when you say you're not a fighter and you have an ebony warhammer on your back. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, south of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. Anything else? I wish my father had given me a better description of its location, but for some reason all he told me was south of Coral, south of Fort Kamala. Be careful. I don't know what dangers may lurk in the Great Forest. I think we'll go on foot for this one. Done that. You as well.
this is going to be a bit of a pain. Weather lay south of Coral, but it's overrun with ogres. I should report this information to Gilbert. Ogres have been defeated. I should make my way back to Coral and bring this information to Gilbert.
nervous about, uh, nervous about saves, um, loading shenanigans. Is it safe for us to return to Weatherly yet? The ogres are gone. It's safe. Wonderful. Weatherly is ours. Are you ready to take us there now? What? Let's go. Right. We're off. Annoying creature. Do you think what happened to Quatch could happen here? Certainly not. Farewell. All right, well, I was going to try and make it. <laughs> make it back to the blades, but looks like looks like I get to be an escort again. Or, well, that I get to escort again. Look, guys, I got stuff to do, if you don't mind.
See this? That's my mushroom. The Germain brothers have been returned safely to Weatherly. Thanks so much for getting us here safely. I'm afraid we aren't very wealthy, but here is all I can offer you at this time. Please, visit us again soon. What are you going to do with the place? You are welcome here any time, my friend. At long last, it's good to stand at Weatherly. Hey again. there! Ah. Gilbert should be able to help you with anything you need. For now, I'm going to celebrate. All right. Yeah, the rest of these, I think, are all sort of out of my way. So from Coral, we'll head up to Bruma, and then... No, 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 no. Um... We'll head up to uh, Bruma, we'll drop off my books, and then we'll head to the... Head on to the quest. Who would build a fort in the middle of a valley like this? Exactly like I need more of that, but love, beauty, and honor its mysteries. Pray at the chapel altars to receive my blessings. Don't recall if I've got the blessing of Debella yet, but not a bad time to try. The dawn is breaking. Paradise awaits me.
Bella loves you. Heard any news from the other provinces? They say that King Helson has. So it's a little late, but I think um, next uh, next broadcast we will just head directly to Greetings, to our destination. Let's let's go for now. I don't think it'll take too long to get to Bruma. Curious what the effects of Devella give me. Personality. All right. Oh no, you don't.
be nice if I could rely on uh, whether or not the armor actually applies to this horse or not, because it doesn't look any different. Suppose I should be glad it's not snowing yet. Just in case. I really hope he was saying, oh wow, this is totally the wrong place. Um, I actually really hope that that uh, person was saying that to the stuff that they were hunting. Oh! 
can never remember which one had the, uh... Also, I don't know what happened to my frame rate. Ah, here we go. So, the best thing for me just seems to be to dump as many of these. we will pull out anything that we have a duplicate of. Actually, I did make one mistake. Uh, yeah, I should do this. So I'm going to put the ones that I know I've read in first. Okay, so we haven't read A Dance in Fire. sure I've read these other ones, but let me just double check. Definitely this one. Yes. Oh, we just read this one. I'm a little surprised. I just want to make sure that I've, I will read Gods on Worship. I'm pretty sure I've read this before, but just once and for all, I'll be sure about it. An overview of Gods and Worship in Tamriel by Brother Hedgefield. Editor's note, Brother Hedgefield is an associate scribe of the Imperial University Office of Introductory Studies. Gods are commonly judged upon the evidence of their interest in worldly matters. A central belief in the active participation of deities in mundane matters can be challenged by the reference to apparent ap apathy and indifference on the part of gods during times of plague or famine. From intervention in legendary quests to manifestation in common daily life, no pattern for the gods of Tamriel activities is readily perceived. The concerns of gods in many ways may seem unrelated or at best unconcerned with the daily trials of the mortal realm. The exceptions do exist, however. 
Many historical records and legends point to the direct intervention of one or more gods at times of great need. Many heroic tales recount blessings of the divinity bestowed upon heroic figures who worked or quested for the good of a deity or the deity's temple. Some of the more powerful artifacts in the known world were originally bestowed upon their owners through such reward. It has also been reported that priests of high ranking in their temples may on occasion call upon their deity for blessings or help in time of need. The exact nature of such contact and blessings bestowed is given to much speculation, as the temples hold such associations secret and holy. This direct contact gives weight to the belief that gods are aware of the mortal realm. In many circumstances, however, these same gods will do nothing in the face of suffering and death, seeming to feel no need to interfere. It is thus possible to conclude that we, as mortals, may not be capable of understanding more than a small fraction of the reasoning and logic such beings use. One defining characteristic of all gods and goddesses is their interest in worship and deeds. <coughs> deeds in the form of holy quests are just one of the many things that bring the attention of a deity. Deeds in everyday life, by conforming to the statutes and obligations of individual temples, are commonly supposed to please a deity. Performance of ceremony in a temple may also bring a deity's attention. Ceremonies vary according to the individual deity. The results are not always apparent, but sacrifice and offerings are usually required to have any hope of gaining a deity's attention. While direct intervention in te daily temple life has been recorded, the exact nature of the presence of a god in a daily mundane life is a subject of controversy. A traditional saying of the Wood Elves is that one man's miracle is another man's accident. While some gods are believed to take an active part in daily life, others are well known for their lack of interest in temporal affairs. It has been theorized that gods do in fact gain strength from such things as worship through praise, sacrifice, and deed. It may even be theorized that a number of worshippers of a given deity may reflect on his overall position among the other gods. This is my own conjecture, garnered from the apparent ability of the larger temples to attain blessings and assistance from their god with greater ease than smaller religious institutions. There are reports of the existence of spirits in our world that have the same capacity to use the actions and deeds of mortals to strengthen themselves as do the gods. The understanding of the exact nature of such creatures would allow us to understand with more clarity the connection between a deity and the deity's worshippers. The implication of the existence of such spirits leads to the speculation that these spirits may even be capable of raising themselves to the level of a god or a goddess. Mot uh, Motuso of the Imperial Seminary has suggested that these spirits may be the remains of gods and goddesses who through time lost all or most of their following, reverting to their earliest, most basic form. Practitioners of the old ways say that there are no gods, just greater and lesser spirits. Perhaps it is possible for all three theories to be true. So come to think of it, I don't think I've actually read that one. All right, and that will be the start of our next adventure. So we will head back to the Blades and continue on with our fight against the Mythic Dawn. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week.